Streetlight Planning Solutions, Local Traffic Studies. Get traffic routing insights for your road networks at any scale within minutes, allowing you to lead with empirical evidence, use defensible metrics, and save time. In this example, we're highlighting a corridor of Interstate I-25 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is a corridor of interest because New Mexico Department of Transportation is looking to reconstruct and replace an aging infrastructure at several interchanges along this corridor. In addition to the kind of new interchange design, there'll be some frontage lanes along I-25 and some multimodal improvements to benefit the local community. Some of the challenges are that engineers require accurate local origin destination patterns to feed into their sub-area travel demand model. And of course, project managers want to ensure open and transparent engagement throughout the project with residents, businesses, and community leaders. So this is a great opportunity to leverage the power of the network origin destination analysis type to provide recent granular OD data that will allow the project team to better forecast the impacts of these improvements on local and regional travel patterns, and in turn, communicate this information with all project stakeholders. So first, I'd like to highlight some of the different zones of analysis. You'll see here that you can select different roadway segments with roadway classifications ranging from motorway down to primary arterials down to residential streets. So there's quite a bit of coverage when it comes to defining those origin and destination zones. Additionally, you can turn on the layer here to view disadvantaged communities or DAC zones. These correspond with areas of emphasis for Justice 40 equity analyses. And you can see here that this corridor traverses a number of these DACs, and therefore it may be important from an equity perspective to ensure that the improvements of this project not only benefit commuter and through trips on I-25, but also some of the local communities served by these different on and off ramps. So once you've selected your different origin and destination zones, you can run the network origin destination analysis type. You'll see here in the visualization that I've selected a particular origin zone here, or this is one of the, the segments here on Cesar Chavez Avenue, where there'll be some construction improvements. I've set this as the origin zone, and I've set a number of different roadway segments visualized in red here, as the various destination gates. And what you're able to do now is easily visualize some of the key origin destination patterns, both for trips that access the freeway and continue on, as well as local trips within the particular neighborhoods and communities here. And one kind of key function of this type of project is being able to understand the impacts of these improvements on multimodal connections for bicycle, pedestrian, and transit trips. So being able to understand the breakdown of both trips that are going to the freeway, you can see here in the bar chart, as well as some of the more localized trips will help planners and engineers on this project better forecast the benefits of this project and the impacts onto the local communities. Now, you'll also see here on this bar chart all the destinations as well as a item here for other destinations. So as you can see, there's a lot of different generators of trips around here. They have a University of New Mexico campus. And so maybe not every destination will be accounted for when you set up your origin destination zone set. And so you can easily understand kind of all of the other trips that may be occurring locally here that may not be accounted for when you set up your origin destination matrix. And finally, you can go here and view the trip table and easily pull the origin destination flow volumes for any given O to D pair. And as always, you can export these metrics and receive the outputs in a CSV or shapefile format.